Hello and welcome to another out of spec video and welcome to Scott Thompson's Lake House. Scott, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Uh, well, it's going really well because you have this awesome lake house in North Carolina yes. where you and your family can hang out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you drive electric cars, they drive electric cars. Yep, we all do. Uh, and so actually Wolfbox reached out to us, Scott. Yes. And said, hey, we've got a charger that we can send you guys. Do you want to install it somewhere? And we said, we've got the perfect spot to throw it in. And in this video, we're going to tell everyone about the installation of your new level two EVSE, the Wolfbox level two station at your lake house here in North Carolina. So Scott, the situation was not good before. It was grim. <laughs> so previously, I don't know if you can zoom in, there's a post with <laughs> an electrical box on it yep. that has a NEMA 1450 plug yes. on it. And, and you, it's our neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> every time you would borrow a car from the track and come over here, I was like, damn, where are you charging at the lake house? <laughs> You were plugging into your neighbor's NEMA 1450. Yes, with their permission, right. yes. Because um, my dad had not installed the 1450 in our house yet. So just recently, you guys put in the NEMA 1450 here at the lake house in preparation for more electric cars coming over. Yes. And we thought, okay, what's the right, you know, situation. There's a couple of different ways to install an EVSE at mm -hmm. a house. You can go with a hardwired solution or you can go with a NEMA 1450 or even a 650 or other types of plugs. There's plenty of mobile connectors or hardwired connectors, lots of options. Yep. And so we actually decided to go with a Wolfbox NEMA 1450 40 amp yep. EVSE. Now we have it mocked up right now. It is actually going to get mounted professionally to the house yes. here pretty soon. But I want to show everyone what we've done over here and why I'm so thrilled about this particular install. Now we have it mocked up here. This is the NEMA 1450 box that you guys had installed. Yep. Very nice looking unit, actually an Eaton box. Shout out to another out of spec sponsor, we love those guys. <laughs> Uh, and we've just mocked up this Wolfbox 40 amp EVSC here. And Scott, we're basically going to get it set up. We'll show everyone the app. Yep. We'll show everyone how it charges our Rivian R1S mm -hmm. as well. And uh, essentially run through everything you need to know about this unit. Uh, before we get into that, let me tell everyone just a very, very brief update on our R1S that we have here. Yep. This is going really well to have our R1S, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's been nice. It was my first time riding in it today. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think compared to yours? I like it okay. Um, I like mine better. You like yours better? Yeah. But uh, regardless, uh -huh. whatever electric car you bring here to the lake house now, we finally have charging that you don't have to steal from the neighbors. Yes. <laughs> uh, so what's cool about this Wolf Box, a couple of reasons that I went for it. First of all, this Rivian is Nax. Yep. So with, uh, you know, pretty much any J1772 or NAX connector, this is the end of the Wolfbox cable. You know, this one's a J1772 unit, comes with this nice productive, protective cover as well. Mm -hmm. You can also get an adapter. This comes with the Rivian in order to use NAX chargers okay. or NAX vehicles, I should say. I might keep one of those adapters here for people. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. You can keep one over here by the EVSE and be able to charge anyone. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is nice how, even though we are going through this standard war of NAX and j one 772 and CCS1 and blah, 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 blah. Everything's fairly backwards compatible, at least with adapters. Yeah. Which, yeah, it would be better if we lived in an adapter free society. But for now, you can use this to power you know, pretty much all the electric cars your family has. Mm -hmm. Or if you bring the Rivian or the Tesla over, you can use this adapter to charge them. Yes. Now, to just show everyone briefly how we have this unit set up. Yes. We have it set up in a plug and charge format. Which oh, is, we? okay. Yeah, I think that's how most people will do their home installations. Yeah, we're not going to be billing our friends for, for charging. charging now. <laughs> but this unit does support access control, and we'll get into that in a minute. But essentially, okay. I can just take it, plug it in, it will communicate, and then it will start charging. I can hear the contactor click yeah, on I the wolf that. box. And if you show over here at the screen, you'll see, you'll see boom, charging. If you zoom in right on that, and it's going through its situation. Now Ooh. this particular situation, the way we have it set up, we'll get over nine kilowatts of charging to the Rivian, Scott. Oh, wow. Okay. That's awesome. Uh, and that is because we've gone for the NEMA 1450 option. 
Okay. So Wolfbox sells this unit as well as a hardwired unit that can go up to 50 amps. So another 10 amps over what we're doing right now. Okay. So we're doing 40 amps continuous on a 50 amp circuit. You always need to be 20% under the maximum rated okay. as per the IEC. Um, and let me load up the Wolfbox app really quick. What's nice about this unit is you take it out of the box, you hook it up to the Wolfbox app through Bluetooth, mm -hmm. and you can see it's right here already populated in my account, the Wolfbox EV charger. I can click on it right here, and then you can see, boom, we're charging at 9.3 kilowatts. I can see that we're doing, you know, 38 amps or so, almost 40 amps. Mm -hmm. The voltage is pretty strong, even under load. And the internal temperature of the unit is also displayed, which I absolutely love as a nerd. Yes. So I can monitor the temperature of my EVSE from anywhere in the world, mm -hmm. which is really great. I absolutely love that. Can you change it to Fahrenheit? Do we know? Yes, I okay. put it in Celsius in particular of because that's how I think about batteries and temperatures. Okay. But yes, you can put it in Fahrenheit and okay. it, there's an option in here. That's a good I can option. also go through all the past charging sessions that I've done with this unit uh, previously. That's awesome. So what I was doing actually with it back here was I was charging at the track. You know, I have that mobile DC fast charger. Mm -hmm. I would DC charge a car and then charge up the fast charger with the wolf box. That's awesome. So that worked out really well. But yeah. then we thought, let's throw it over here at the lake house because we have the NEMA 1450. You guys are always pulling up in different EVs. You're stealing the neighbor's electricity. With permission. With permission. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just yes, so much better. Be so much nicer. Yeah. Now, if you take a look at the unit right here, you can see the installation when we get it hard mounted on the house will be really nice. Yeah. I think all we really need to do is just kind of have it right over here. And one of the best parts about it is it has a 25 foot cable length, Scott. Yeah. Which is one of the longest that I can think of on the market. Which is quite nice because we can either put it here, but um, the boys like to play basketball, so we can also put it around right, behind exactly. the fig tree. You, you, could, you could run the cable down that way. That's no problem. Yeah. And, um, you know, we mentioned access control. Do you know where those cards are, by the way? Um, I know Do definitely where one is. One? But I believe Maybe they in were the in the Rivian. Yeah, let's take a look really quick. Because one of the things you can set up is RFID access control. Yes. So, for example, this is a a lake house shared with your friends and family. Mm -hmm. If you just didn't want certain people like Airbnb guests to use it without paying a fee yeah. or whatever it might be, this comes with RFID cards that are labeled Wolfbox. Mm -hmm. It's a charging card and you can lock it where you can just say, hey, you can have access to the charger if you have one of these. And that's it. That's and nice. that's it. So that's one way of doing it. How many it. come with it too? Uh, I believe two come with it, but of course you can expand it out uh, okay. to, to if you want to do more. Cool. Uh, another thing to mention, Scott, is the, um, the ability to schedule charging. Let me show you in the app again. I'm going to pull this up right here. If I go here, I can actually go through, first of all, which I really like is I can set the rate for how much we're paying for electricity. Mm -hmm. And then it will automatically tell us how much we've spent on charging costs separate from the rest of our utility bill. Okay, cool. And actually recently I've had a friend tell me that her electric bill, <laughs> you heard about this. Yes, I heard about this. Her electric bill went up, what was she saying? She like, said $900 yeah. and she has a- um, ID4. Yeah. And she drives like 40 miles a day. I'm like, there's no way there's your electric no way. bill went up $900 a month. Well, this would be a great way to know. And you can for sure, totally guesstimate or even accurately measure how much money you're spending on charging every month at home yes. from this unit, which I love. You can also put in your vehicle information, for example, this Rivian, and it helps uh, gauge some things. It will tell me our signal value for Wi-Fi. Right now it's medium. We're pretty far away from the router. But if for whatever reason you have faulty wiring or if you have a couple things on a circuit or you just want cars to charge slower, which uh -huh. is, you know, sometimes people do. Triple charging. Yeah, sometimes I do. You can back down the 40 amp charger to 32, 24, 16 amps. In this case, we're totally fine charging at 40 40 amps, so we'll keep it there. We also have plug and charge enabled, which mm -hmm. allows us to, as soon as a car, you know, detects someone's plugged in, we'll start charging. Amazing. And then you can come over here to scheduling. Um, you know, enabling this feature will make the EVSC start and end at the time that you set. Then you can come in here and say, okay, what current do you want? At what time of the day do you want? Set the charging time slot. And this is a great way to make sure that you are charging when your home electricity rates are cheaper. Yes. So many times what happens, Scott, is you'll buy a new electric car, let's just say, 
you set the schedule in the vehicle. So you say, mm -hmm. hey, on the vehicle side, I want to charge between these hours and these hours. Then your friend comes over, your car goes in for service, you borrow someone else's vehicle, whatever it might be, you plug it in and you go, ah, now I'm paying too much for electricity. When you set the charger to match the time of use rate, you never have to worry about how the vehicle is set. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Quick Hell side note about one of my favorite wolf box features in this particular unit. You can see I'm actually having to DC fast charge this lucid air behind me. Um, the reason is I genuinely had this car plugged into another EVSE uh, here at the track last night. There must have been a power dip or something, but um, the car essentially, I arrived here with 42% in the battery and I wanted to have it at 100. And the Wolfbox has this great feature that apparently this other EVSE doesn't have, where when there's a power outage or a power fluctuation, it will go through an automatic restart process, which means you don't arrive to your office or wake up in the morning with a dead electric car like I did and then have to DC fast charge it, which kind of ruins your day. Um, it's a really cool feature. I love that Wolfbox includes the automatic restart and also their over-the-air firmware updates are awesome to have. One last point is that this new WE series charger builds on the very popular E series unit so that automatic restart and other types of durability, longevity, and ease of daily use convenience features are all baked into this brand new charger. It has no screen, which improves durability, all the cables and everything's really chunky. It's a super popular unit, the old E series. So I think the WE is going to be a sales success for them. So now at least when you get to the lake house, it's as simple as plugging in the Wolfbox EVSC, walking away, and then waking up to an electric car that's fully charged in the morning, way better than stealing, borrowing your neighbor's electricity <laughs> or using a 120 volt outlet to charge for days on end. This can charge seven times faster than that. Thank goodness. It's really awesome, actually faster than seven times in this case. And uh, you know what? I'm absolutely thrilled. I'm so happy that you put a NEMA 1450 on the side of your house. You'll be able to top up here. You can go anywhere you want. Mm -hmm. And shout out to Wolfbox for sending us this unit. It's a really nice unit and extremely reasonably priced. That's what I absolutely love about it. So you can go on Amazon. It's under $400 right now. Yep for 40 amp EVSC and NEMA 1450. Very easy to set up. You can also go for the hardwired version up to 50 amps. They also have a 48 amp version. So they have a hard, you know, a NEMA 1450 40 amp, a hardwired 48, and then a hardwired 50. I think the 48 is probably a reasonable Fine. place to be. Uh, in general, really nice unit. Scott, I can't wait to do an updated post on one of the social channels once you get that hard mounted into the side of the uh, house here. Yeah. In general, really nice unit. Shout out to Wolfbox again for sending it. The link will be in the description so you can pick this thing up on Amazon. Gets sent to you. Uh, we've used Wolfbox units in the past. My buddy Zach, I just did a video installing one in his garage. He's been using it every day. He has over 100,000 miles on his Ionic 5, many of which powered from Wolfbox uh, electrons. And uh, they just work. They're great. So awesome. no complaints from my side. Shout out to those guys. Links in the description. Thanks to you for watching. Glad you have charging at the most perfect spot in the world. <laughs> and we'll see you all on another one again soon. Bye-bye.